Imagine a world where you only have to remember one password to keep all your personal data secure. Uh, well, you don't exactly have to imagine that since a good password manager will do that and more. So I guess the real question becomes, what is the best password manager 2023? Today, I'm going to review the most recommended password managers while answering the question, are password managers safe and reliable for your everyday use? All right, let's go ahead and start with a very popular choice, NordPass. First, is NordPass safe? Oh yeah, it works on a zero knowledge architecture and applies modern encryption, which means that only one person, yep, you, only you can access your data. Not even the employees can access your data. But remember, the ultimate line of defense is your master password. So make sure to create a proper one and keep it safe. I'd also recommend setting up multi-factor authentication, you know, 2FA for some extra security love. And for me, well, I like to use the biometric stuff. You know, the face, the eyes, the hands. Mm -hmm. That way I can speed up the login process in their app. Speaking of which, the app itself is actually very user-friendly and no matter the device, it's clean and intuitive. I can even set up folders to organize all my messy data. But you know, I would like the option to share a folder as a whole. Currently, I've got to mark the item separately, which is not as efficient as I'd like it to be. Fingers crossed that becomes an added future update. <laughs> hint, hint. All right, and another little minor nitpick here is that I can't store files here, which, for example, I can do with one password, so I'd like something similar here too. Okay, thanks. But as for some of the other tools, well, there's a proper password generator where I mostly use the words type, which saves me a lot of time and patience whenever I need to type things out manually. There's also a password health checker that spots old and weak passwords and a data breach monitor, which will notify you of any breaches related to an email account that you happen to have. Yeah, feels like a nice security blanket, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, overall, this app is a great starting point and advanced password manager users aren't gonna be disappointed either. It gets right to the point with no flashy add-ons. There's even a pretty good free version, but mm, yeah, it is pretty limited. So I'd really only recommend it for testing it out. Plus, the premium version is inexpensive anyway, especially with their longer term plans. However, if you have someone to share the app with, well, NordPass has one of the best password manager for family options, where you can get six premium accounts out of the one that you're paying for. Oh, which by the way, whichever best password manager you decide to pick, well, you're gonna find exclusive discounts for each of them in our description, you know, whenever you need them. All right, now let's talk about another good password manager 2023 pick, Keeper. Security-wise, it shares many of the same traits with NordPass. The only difference is that Keeper uses the AES 256-bit encryption cipher, which yeah is a bit older, but it doesn't make it any less safe. Even if Keeper doesn't have the latest encryption, it does pack some heavy-duty features. So I'd recommend this app for those who want some extra pizzazz with their password manager. Well, actually useful pizzazz, not just flashy pizzazz. For example, check out their exclusive safe messaging app called Keeper Chat. It doesn't just encrypt the messages and allow safe communication, it also makes those messages self-destruct. And you know, self-destruction is kind of a theme here because if you happen to lose your device or get stolen, a few unsuccessful login attempts can make all your data go right up in smoke. So yeah, just make sure to back it up in their cloud security vault so you don't completely lose all your data. Now, I do like the way their app looks, and I'd even point out that Keeper is one of the best password manager for iPhone and iPad apps, because even these versions are super packed. The only thing that's missing is importing and exporting passwords. Otherwise, it's a fully featured beast. I was even able to add some favorites to access certain logins right from my Apple Watch. But there is one thing that I'm not a fan of. A lot of their features cost extra. Secure file storage isn't free, and even the breach monitor, a standard on most password managers these days, has an extra price tag. Plus, there's no free version, just a 30-day free trial. So knowing it's not the cheapest password manager, I'd only recommend it to those who will actually use all of the features and who don't mind paying for it. All right, next up, we got RoboForm. This best password manager 2023 candidate has been around for ages, even before a password manager was considered essential. And despite their long run, RoboForm doesn't have lots of fancy features, but it does shine in terms of convenience. The apps have a slight early 2000s vibe, some might call it outdated, others might say it's charming. 
but their mobile versions look more modern, so it doesn't really clash with the rest of my apps. Now, storing passwords here is easy and their autofill function is one of my favorites, especially since it also fills in data fields of various forms. And the rest of the features here are pretty standard. There's a security center to check for compromised passwords and a password generator. I just wish they would add the option to generate phrase passwords, not just symbol and number mashups. Now, there is a free version, but due to its limitations, I can't recommend it. My biggest issue here is that the free version lacks 2FA, two-factor authentication, if you didn't know. So it's not nearly as safe. Plus, there's no live customer support for free users. So I'd highly recommend looking into the premium version instead. It's got one of the cheapest options on the market, especially if you get a discount deal, hint, hint. All right, moving on to another popular password manager, 1Password. Is it secure? Oh yeah, it is. 1Password unifies all of your passwords into an encrypted vault that you can then access with, mm, you guessed it, one master password. Now security wise, one thing that sets 1Password apart is their emergency kit, which makes it super easy to recover your account in case you lose access to it. Another cool perk here for this top password manager might be something that I've already mentioned before, one gigabyte of encrypted file storage. I also like their vault system. It's similar to the folder thing that some other password managers use, but I can also share the whole vault right away, which is super convenient and speedy. Now look, I've heard some concerns out there that it's pretty difficult in the beginning, and that's understandable since there are a plethora of different options and categories. But in my experience, it's actually easy to get used to since the app is more modern and it's pretty intuitive. Now, I'm also gonna say that I use their browser extension the most. I mean, it's as powerful as the main app anyway, and it smooths out all the autofill experiences and it recognizes address and credit card fields. And oh yeah, I can also save stuff without opening up the app. So yeah, that's really convenient. Now, I also wanna mention their travel mode feature, which protects sensitive data by removing vaults when you cross those borders. However, even with all this cool stuff, I did notice a pretty big issue. There's no phone or chat support for regular users, which, come on, I feel like that should be a standard these days. We all need help once in a while. Overall, 1Password is a reliable option for personal users, and it's pretty affordable too. I also like their family plan. I've reviewed it many times before, and it's great for storing or sharing passwords. Now, if you wanna know more, well, I've made quite a few password manager reviews and tutorials on this channel, so yeah, you might wanna subscribe and check those out. All right, I've got one more option for you and you're gonna wanna hear about this one, Dashlane. Now, while the security measures of Dashlane are standard with proper encryption and 2FA, it's a reliable password manager that's a good answer to the what is the best password manager question. Right off the bat, Dashlane, at least for me, is among the best password manager for Android and iPhones. The mobile apps are intuitive and stylish and they're fully featured. Now, you might have heard that Dashlane completely removed its desktop apps and migrated to a web-based product. Honestly, the web app is pretty convenient, so no huge complaints here, just a minor one. When I'm using it on my desktop, I can't access my stuff offline. Well, at least I can do that with the mobile apps. Overall, the web app is easy to set up and use. I can store my passwords, payment cards, notes, and all that jazz. I can even update hundreds of passwords at once without having to log into each account manually. There's also the dark web monitoring feature and even a decent VPN, win-win. Now, knowing that Dashlane is so packed, it's no surprise that the full package isn't the cheapest out there. The VPN comes with their most expensive plan, so you could opt out of that and just get the advanced version. Now there is also a free app to try, but again, it doesn't have these additional features. And sadly, it is limited to just one device. And who just has one device these days? I got like eight. All right, well, that was a doozy. Let's go ahead and sum everything up, shall we? If you need a versatile, but to the point password manager, NordPass is a great option. For those who want more features and have a passion for self-destructing things, who doesn't? I'd recommend Keeper. Roboform is gonna fit those who carry a bit of early 2000s nostalgia, and I strongly recommend 1Password for their great family plan. Finally, Dashlane stands out as a stylish and feature-packed option. All right, let me know which one you'd go with in the comments below. I'd also hope that this video was helpful, so don't forget to use those special discounts to save yourself a few bucks on whichever password manager you decide to go with. All right, that's it from my side. I'll go ahead and, uh, 
guess I'm going to see you in the next one.